hey, is it dark enough in here? Do you think, I don't want it to be so dark that I look like I'm hiding anything. But you know my situation, you know, we have, it is a big deal. I'm not being overly dramatic. Okay, you're a fine one to talk. Do you want to talk about the highlight situation last week? I didn't think so. We have who now? Oh, remind me again who that is. Do you know him from the country club? Oh, 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 that sounds promising. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Send him, send him in. Now the lighting, the lighting is okay. I just, I worry that it's a little too dark. I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> okay. All right. Smile face. Smile face. I know it's easier for you to smile these days. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Send them in. Okay. Make sure you push the curtains closed. You know, we want to maintain the aura of, of mystery and magic. Okay. I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready. You, um, yeah, if you want to, um, I thought, I thought you were doing the kissing booth. No? Okay. I don't know that I would put her out there. I mean, you know, she had that lip thing. But you do whatever you think is best. Yeah, just come back in. Hey, we'll, we'll tag team this guy. Okay. Awesome. Send him in. Hmm. Hello there. Let me shake your hands. Ooh, you have nice, strong hands. Nice grip there. Yeah, I felt that. Have a seat. Have a seat, please. Make yourself comfortable. I know, I know that you know who I am. We haven't been formally introduced, so I kind of feel the need to introduce myself. My name is Charity. Yes. Oh, you can sir. Oh, aren't you a gentleman? <laughs> Thank you. Well, welcome to Charity's Ball. No, that's, that's literally, no, it's not, it's not charity. It's not a charity ball. Well, it is kind of a charity ball, but it's Charity's Ball. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, well, it's my ball, you know. Well, everybody who knows me knows that I love balls. So, the, the you know, big elaborate balls are the best. So, welcome. Thank you so much for coming today. So, um, will your wife be joining us today? Oh, you're not married. Oh, okay. Girlfriend? Hmm. Yes, we, we are going to be working with a number of different, uh, items today. And since you are single, you're single? You're a widower. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Let me touch you again. Let me, oh, let me see that ring. Oh, that's, that's very shiny. Ooh, it's platinum too. Very nice. I sensed the sadness coming from you as you entered the room. And I, I feel that you have a sense of loss. Now, would that be the loss of a loved one or maybe, you know, real estate, um, financial loss? No. Oh, you recently got an inheritance. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the, the future's looking very good. I think the stars are definitely going to align for you today. So, of course, now you know, since this is Charity's Ball, we have a number of wonderful people from our community who come to this. Um, and it just seems to be that most of the people who come have an extra dollar or two, you know? And as they always say, if you have extra money, it's always good to give to charity. Yeah, you get the idea. So for your, for your fortune today, as, as it says out front, um, it, of course, we only take donations. The recommended donation is a hundred dollars for your fortune today. Um, would you be interested in donating? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you so much. I'll take that. Thank you. Yep. Good. Okay. So, and 
also, um, just as a side note, the asterisk on the sign out front would, oh, Brad, come in. This is, this is my, um, pupil, my student, Brad. I am a teacher. Um, what kind of teacher? I am, um, well, let's just say that I teach people to be special, sparkly friends in life to distinguished gentlemen such as yourself. You know, people who just have reached a point in their life where maybe it would be beneficial to have a nice, young, energetic friend who can help them enjoy their sunset years. That's our only goal. That's what we look for. That We feel that that is our purpose in life. It's it, exactly as, as Brad said, it's a calling. It's a calling like a teacher or a doctor or a nurse. You were called to this life. You know, we are, we are giving souls. And sometimes we receive. It just depends on the situation. But the little asterisk on the sign, now I was getting to that. The asterisk on the sign, um, I don't know. Can you read small print or... No. Oh, that's... I'm used to that. Don't worry. I, um, many of my friends, I read things for them all the time. Not just fortunes. Um, not just stuff in the crystal ball. But I will read things for them. Oh, just, you know, inconsequential things like contracts and wills and life insurance policies. You know, just little things like day-to-day -day things that they might need a little help with. You know, so I, I help them understand what it says and where to sign and, you know, whose name to put and all that. I'm, I'm a very helpful person. <laughs> the asterisk out there said that tips are welcome. Now, a donation and a tip are not the same. You know, of course, the donation is just part of um, Charity's Ball. But the tip is when you go above and beyond. Now, do you think, do you think I could go above and beyond and perform and do a really good job um, reading your fortune today? Well, then, um, you know, you might feel it, the need to look into your heart and wallet and give a little tip if you want to. That would be wonderful, of course. Do you need me to help you with that wallet? I'll be happy. Oh, you got it? Okay. I can, I can open it for you and, you know, I'm very good at navigating wallets. You know, the bifold, trifold, doesn't matter. Oh, I'm just letting you know I can help. Oh. Oh, $40. You do not get laugh. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. You know, that that is going to go so far with me. You know, as I said, I am, I am a widow myself. What well, kind of? Technically, I'm not. Um, that's right. Huntington, yes. We were to be married. Right. It was so sad. His untimely death in the jewelry store. It was all I could do to pick up the custom-made ring the next week. I was beside myself as I put it on and walked out of the store and then went to the pawn shop. I mean... I was devastated, but then I, I am I am happy. I met the mattress king of the southeastern region, and we are very happy together, as you can see. I am very happy right now. Yes, he is a lovely man. Do you know him? He 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 gets drunk and falls down a lot, but that's not been my experience. He does seem to be a little stumbly, though. Right. Yeah, I try to keep him away from, you know, stairs and waterfalls and things like that. Because, you know, yeah, but I'll keep that in mind. He cheats at golf? Is there anything else you know about him? Well, I wouldn't have any way of knowing that, now would I? I'm sorry, Brad is reminding me that that's not why you're here. I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't mean to bring you into my issues. It's just that... I'm going through something right now. I have a lot of pressure on me. 
and, and, and if you would just indulge me for a moment, um, you know, if, if you could do something for me, it would mean a lot to me. Yeah. I, um, this is hard to talk about. I had to go to the dog groomers this morning. And my roots were showing. I know, I know. I'm not being a drama queen. Okay. We won't talk about the frost job you had done, Brad. Just a moment of silence for my roots. That's that's why um this is kind of dual purpose, let's see. Because I'm going to have Andre fix my roots and your donation will certainly help a little bit. I mean, the donation and the tip will, you know, at the very least, you know, I can use that to get an appointment, but then, you know, I don't really know what I'm going to do after that. I mean, you know, if you really want to get your hair done properly. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, you would. Well, I don't know about that. Let's talk about that after we get into your fortune a little bit. Okay. I'm okay. I'm being very, I'm being very strong right now. It's, it's just, you know, when you go through something like that, it really change. it really changes the way you look at, at life. You know, it's, it's made me th see things with a new appreciation. You know, after going through something like that, it's like, if I can survive that, I can survive anything. And it has made me a real survivor and it helped me get, it helped me plan this ball. It helped me finish the planning and the execution of this ball. So now let's look into this ball. Have you ever had, have you ever had your fortune told to you before? Well, my technique is a little different now. If you've ever had it done anywhere else, this may not be familiar. Just letting you know. Uh, Charity does things differently. So whatever you've had done before, just forget about it because everyone else does it wrong. All right. Let me show you some of the different things we're going to work with today. The first thing we have is this bowl. You see this? It is made of bent, um, it's like basically all one piece of some sort of wood. Brad, what is this? Very funny. Um, it's like, it's made of, um, something. I don't know. Anyway, it's all wound together and inside here we have love, no, these are love leaves. Do you know what love leaves are? Well, it's these things. We have these beautiful leaves in here, all right? And here's the best part about the love leaves. Now, have you heard all the talk around uh, in the societal circles lately about Rhonda? Well, let me tell you, she's not here on site, but I can tell you that Rhonda has licked all of these love leaves. They are now blessed. After Rhonda licked them, I made, I saw to it myself. I know it was a major undertaking, but I managed to get Rhonda to lick these for me. Did I not? I did not squeal like a little girl. I am not afraid of livestock. Well, of course, as you know, Rhonda the cow has become a real, um, a real draw around here lately. Um, well, it's not every day you run across a psychic cow when they can see into the future and tell you what's going to happen. Yeah. So, well, of course, her owner is a little unconventional. She's some, she's very uncouth and just rednecky. I mean, not, no offense, but she's just very unrefined. And I had to talk to her today and it was very unfortunate because I found out something and I cannot believe I even forgot I accidentally hit her with my car once. I wouldn't say I hit her so much as she just kind of rolled over the hood. It wasn't even my fault. I mean, I wasn't even, I, I had essentially stopped kind of, and then she just rolled over the hood of my Mercedes. I mean, like who does that? It was the Rolls Royce. 
who, who can keep them straight? I was driving some fabulous car and she rolled across my hood and she dented it. She took one look at me and just went crazy. And I said, look, you know, unrefined lady. I can never remember her name. What is her name? Lynette. I said, Lynette, listen to me. I can, I'm not here to talk about that. Can we just forget about it? And I can't even imitate her accent. It's just really incredibly awful. She was screaming at me. She threw a tennis ball at my head and told me to go away. And, um, but then she said, wait, 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 come back. And then apparently she's having some financial trouble herself. And, um, she agreed to have Rhonda lick these love leaves for me. And it, it didn't, well, we won't discuss how much it cost, but I think it's going to be worth every penny when you see what you can learn from these love leaves. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to work with love leaves. And of course, you know, we're going to have the crystal ball. We're going to take a little look at that and see what we see in there. Now, everyone sees something different. It's, um, it's different for everyone. We have a magic necklace here. Look at that. This was owned by a witch in the 18th century. Okay. We're going to have you handle that and see if we get any special feelings from that. And finally, we have a tray. This is what I call the trough of costume jewelry. And in here are hideously cheap rings and necklaces, but hidden amongst the costume jewelry is one very special gem. And we're going to see if you can pick it out blindfolded. And then whatever you pick out, we will see um, if we get any special vibes off that. And then I also have these special gems. Look at these. Now these are adhesive gems. Made of genuine alendronate. Yeah, that's a very fancy gem. Don't look it up. Genuine alendronate, and it has adhesive on the back. And I also had Rhonda sneeze on these, so it has extra cosmic energy. It has extra molecules, and it's got electrolytes. It's going to be fabulous. Okay. Now first... I want you to hold my left hand and stare into my eyes. <laughs> oh, don't let it be awkward. Yeah. Now, which of these would you like to do first? Hold my hand and focus. Oh, you want to do the love leaves? Okay. All right. We're going to look at the love leaves first. It's a good choice. All right. So now, of course, again, like I said, we have this bowl here of these dried leaves. I want you to hold this bowl in your lap, okay? Put that in your lap. Just like that, that's fine. You know, you look a little uncomfortable. If you would like for me to hold your wallet while you sit there, I'll be happy to. Thank you, yeah, that'll just make it a little more comfortable. Okay, now I want you to hold that in your lap Close your eyes. Close them both. And now I want you to place your hands on top of those leaves. Delicately, lightly place your hands on top. Now don't open your eyes. Now I want you to focus on the love leaves. Move your fingers around over the surface of the leaves gently. You don't want to break the leaves now. They are dry, so you have to be very careful. Don't open your eyes. Tell me the first word that comes to mind after handling the love leaves. I'll take this back. Raccoon. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's fine. Um, 
Okay, an animal in nature, they do live in nature, don't they? Or do they, they live in like trash cans or that's Oscar the Grouch, not a raccoon. Okay, well, um, it's, so it's an animal in nature, which means that you have, you have a wild spirit. That's exactly what that means. And it means that like animals in nature, it is not good for you to be alone. Well, you know what happens to animals that are alone. Yeah, they get eaten by wolves. They get eaten by wolves. Everything gets eaten by wolves when it's left alone. You don't want to be eaten by a wolf, do you? Well, that's one of the things we will talk about then. So, okay, so it's just imagine that you're a raccoon in the forest and you're all alone. Yeah. Well, maybe, um, maybe we can get together for coffee sometime and talk about that. You think that would be nice? Well, um, Tuesday? That could do Tuesday. What time? Okay. Well, that's just to discuss the raccoon uh, imagery in your mind. What other words come to mind when you handle the love leaves? Nature. Okay, well, that makes sense. Do you like the outdoors? I kind of get the sense that you do. You, do. you like to go hiking? Wow, you can hike? I mean, no offense, I just, it's nothing, it's nothing personal. I just, most of my, most of my gentleman friends that are your age, uh, don't exactly bend very well. Um, I can't tell you the times I've had to push wheelchairs up hiking trails and I've actually gotten very good at it. It's the roots you have to look out for. Not these roots, like tree roots, because the, the wheels get caught. Yeah. But I'd, I'd do anything, because that's what sparkly friends do, am I right? Sparkly friends do whatever is required to help our, um, our friends. Because we're only, we're only in it for the love and the concern of our fellow man. Yeah, that's, that's why we're here. Okay, um, well that's very good. I would say that you are a raccoon in nature, and... Of course, with the with the death of your wife, you're feeling a little, maybe a little lost, like sort of forlorn. But that's understandable. Well, maybe you won't feel that way for long. You know, I, I kind of see, I kind of see a lot more fun in your future. Maybe starting, I can almost see it exactly, like starting Tuesday, your life is going to be a lot more interesting. I think. That's just, that's the fortune that I see for you from the love leaves. Oh, you want to touch them again? Sure. Touch them again. They are, they are very rough. No, you're not. Oh, she licked all of them. I made sure of that. I got my money's worth. You feel happiness. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's, oh, it's always so good to hear that. You know, I, I feel very close to you right now. Can I hold your hand? I feel very close to you. Brad, I feel close to you too. Yeah, I think I think we, we all feel very close to one another. Um But let's let's move on. Okay. The happiness is a wonderful thing. How long has it been since you last felt happiness? Okay. Well, I see, I see a lot more happiness in your future. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, well, you know, I would think that inheritance would help a lot. I mean, as far as, like, uh, not having to worry about paying for things, you know. Oh, you didn't have to worry about paying for things before. Well, that's, that's even better than, isn't it? What we have left now is the necklace, the alendronate. The, um, we have the trough of jewelry and we have the crystal ball. You want to do the crystal ball? Okay. Now, as you will see here, it's a sphere, obviously, on a pedestal. This is a gold pedestal in here, and it is attached right down here. And everyone who looks into the crystal ball sees something different. 
I have to rub the crystal ball. You have to caress it. Kind of activate the crystal ball. Brad, turn your phone on. Sorry. I'm so sorry. He's so disruptive. <sighs> All right. Now I want you to come forward. I want you to lean forward, okay? Lean forward. I want you to gaze into the crystal ball. Just gaze into it. Tell me what you see. What do you see in there? You see a country lane. Uh-huh. You see? And it's snowing. So it's like a snow globe. <laughs> and a farmhouse. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Do you see any cars? No cars. Um, do you see any fancy trucks? No cars at all, huh? No, oh, it's that it sounds lovely. Um you don't see like a Brinks truck or any no, of course not. Why would there be a Brinks truck? Okay, well, it sounds like a very peaceful scene, and I would tell you now that whatever you see in there is certain to be a part of your future. Do you like to go skiing? I love skiing. I love it so much. Unfortunately, my darling doesn't ski. No, his, his knees don't work. He was born with an interesting uh, birth defect where his... his um. He doesn't like for me to talk about it. I'm sure you've noticed, but they kind of swing out. You know, his door, his his knees are like Lamborghini doors. They don't really open like they're supposed to. They kind of do like that. Um, he's had to learn to walk so it looks a little more normal. That may actually be why you see him fall down a lot. Well, the alcohol probably doesn't help either, but... So he doesn't ski because, um, it actually, he can't even get his legs to fit on the skis, so he doesn't ski. And I was just telling Brad that I really, really would love to have someone to go skiing with. You know, I would love to have a ski partner. Unfortunately, Brad doesn't ski. He doesn't ski. No, he's afraid of snow. Yes, you are. Yeah, so he can't possibly go. I mean, I you know, I can't go with him because he's afraid of stuff and he can't, he don't, he doesn't ski. So I really wish I had someone to take me skiing. Boy, that sure would be nice. Like maybe, you know, we have the first snowfall head on up there and that's a wonderful idea. I never even thought of that. We could go. Let's do that. You know what? Now we have something to plan when we get together on Tuesday. Yep, I will show you some of my gear. I want stuff for skiing. I'll show you that too. Okay, so well now you have that to look forward to. I bet you feel even better now. Well, let's see. Let me hold it up here again. Lean forward again. Now, Okay, well, we've already looked into your future. Um, let's see if we can see something from your past. I would be interested in learning about your past. Like, um, let's go back to your favorite memory involving, oh, I don't know, let's say, um, money. Let's say your favorite memory involving money, just for an example, just a random thing, doesn't matter. What do you see in there? What kind of memories do you have that are related to money? Oh, you're seeing, oh, I bet that was a nice day, the day you made your first million. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. It's a shame I wasn't around. Well, when was that? Oh. Well, I would have just been a mere slip of a girl back then. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So, um, how many days have you had like that? You know, where you topped a million. 
seven. You've had. Mm-hmm. Well, so you've had seven really, really wonderful days then. Oh, and your wedding day. Well, of course, your wedding day was fun. Yeah, we don't need to look at that, though. Let's not worry about your wedding day. Okay. You want to do the necklace? All right. Now, everyone who holds this necklace tells me that they get a very strong sensation from it. Some people have positive feelings. Some people have negative feelings. I wonder what you'll feel. I'm going to give you this now. I want you to hold that. Just sort of um, collapse it into your hands. There. Now I'm going to put my hand on top of yours. Now tell me what you feel. You feel nervous. Oh, don't feel nervous. I'm right here with you. See, I could put my hand on your hand and you'll feel better. Does that help? You, you what? You think you hear your wife speaking? No one's speaking but me. She's saying what? Run, run as fast as you can. I think it was actually the gingerbread man that said that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. No, that's the gingerbread man. Why would your wife tell you to run? As fast as you can, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, let's not hold that necklace anymore. I think um I think it would be best if you just forgot about that. Yeah, that I think it's a little defective. Would you like some melindronate? Now these jewels here are very powerful. These are life giving jewels. They even help with allergies. So, let me, um, let me hold this up for you. Look, you see these? And they're all kind of different. See that? Which one of these jewels speaks to you the most? Which one do you like the best? This one? Okay. What I'm going to do is peel this off. Now it's sticky on the back. You see, it's already stuck to me. If you come here... I'm going to stick this to the top of your left hand. Okay, bring it over here. Oh, you're still wearing your wedding ring. Hmm, I'm gonna put it right on the top of your hand there. You know, this might go better if you take your wedding ring off. I'm just saying, I think maybe the gold or platinum, okay, the platinum in your ring is kind of throwing off the vibe. I think that's what happened with the necklace. Yeah. You know, maybe just slip it off for now and stick it in your pocket. That might help. Yeah. That looks, actually, you look much better without that ring on. <laughs> so. I'm going to pick the second one. And the second one is going to go on your right hand. Now I have to see which one of these speaks to me for you. I'm going to go with this smaller one here. Okay, let me see your right hand and I'm going to put that one on top of the right hand. You want to pick some for me? Okay, that's cool. This, this one? Okay. Which hand should that one go on? Okay. I have a jewel. There we go. See? Very pretty. And that brings a lot of happiness into your life when you have that. And then I'm going to get the second one, put it on my other hand. Okay. It's very challenging, you know. He, um, he travels a lot for work. And I'm left in that big, empty house all day by myself. 
and he gets really lonely. I mean, he, he calls sometimes, but all he ever talks about is mattresses. Now, granted, I know a lot about mattresses. Um, I've had a lot of mattress experience, but sometimes, and this is just between you and me, and you, of course, um, sometimes I just feel like I feel like I want more out of life. You know, I love being his sparkly friend. I love sparkling because of my friend. But sometimes I just think that maybe there's somebody out there that could show me a little bit more fun, a little bit more excitement. Someone whose legs, knees bend the right way, you know. Someone who likes skiing and, you know, outdoor stuff and... You know, I'm just thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe uh, something will happen one day that will bring me a little bit more excitement. But in the meantime, I am more than happy to throw Charity's Ball. Well, it benefits me. I mean, of course, you know, I am I am one of the most renowned charities in this in this community, especially since my darling Huntington passed away. I mean. You know, one does what one can, and um, you, one has to explore their talents and exploit them to the maximum amount of potential, and sometimes that's what we do. Yeah, I teach classes. I do. Um, Brad, of course, is one of my star students. He's about ready to branch out on his own. Yeah, um, well... See, I don't really like to bring our friends into the Sparkly Friends classes um, because it kind of throws off the whole atmosphere. You know, it's um, it's kind of like if you open and close the doors a lot during a play, it ruins the atmosphere. Just um, enjoy the benefits of the finished result when you have your Sparkly Friends in the graduating class and I send them out into the community to spread joy and happiness and sparkly goodness everywhere. Yeah. You want to do the trough of junk jewelry? Okay. Now this jewelry, and this trough is full of very disgusting stuff. I picked out some of it. I'm not, Brad, now is not the time to talk about that. Okay, just look. These people nod off quickly. Just stop it. Um, it's so there's a lot of, don't look at it too closely. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. There's a lot of disgusting stuff in here, but in the midst of all this is a gem, a beautiful gem. And the person who can pick out that beautiful gem from the midst of all this junk is a true gem themselves. And well, it says a lot about you. It says that you have the ability to find the goodness in things even when you're not physically looking. So, Brad, if you would, with the... Yeah, he's got the blindfold. And he's going to blindfold you. He's going to cover your eyes. Don't tie it too tight, Brad. Is that too tight? We had a, we had a fellow pass out earlier, and it was really unfortunate. But we didn't even know about the colostomy bag, and I still feel bad about it. Is that comfortable? Okay, now I'm going to place the trough. I'm holding it. I'm not going to I'm not going to set it on you. I'm just gonna hold it right there and I want you to reach in and see what you find. What you got? Oh no, unfortunately this is not this is a piece this is a piece of the junk jewelry. I can see where you would think it wasn't, but yeah, this is actually a very cheap piece of garbage. Yeah. I am not making fun of your stuff, Brad. You are so sensitive. See, you're never going to pass your final exam with that attitude. What did we say? We learned to let that stuff roll off the backs. You're not supposed to hear this part. This is a little administrative break. You let it roll off your back. See, you're so sensitive about everything. You let everything people say get to you. Just not now, okay? Not not now. Just just wait there. Let's try this again. No, pull the pull the um 
pull the thing back down over your eyes. Let's try one more time. See what just, just mix it around in there. There you go. Help him. Okay, just guide your hand a little bit. Do you feel that? Feel that there? Yeah, there you go. Let me see that. There it is. Oh, look at that beautiful gem. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's um, yeah, it's a pink diamond. Well, see, here's the thing. It's it's a little complicated. This is mine. Um, when Huntington passed away, I became the curator for the museum that they have in his home in the West Wing, and I was not being compensated fairly. I felt so. Um, I just happened to stumble upon this in one of his uh little jewelry boxes that he had and I just kind of helped myself to it. Huntington would have wanted me to do that anyway because he always said, Charity, I will always take care of you and always means forever. So it's almost like he wanted me to find it. You know, he led me in there, I believe, almost like that movie Ghost, you know, where they were making the pot. I felt like he led me in there and had me pick the lock and find this. He would want me to have it. Do you all agree? So what I did was not a crime. And I still, you know, I still manage everything in the museum and everything. And, you know, it's it's justice. It's only fair that I got that. So, um, oh, don't worry. It's not going to break because diamonds are very tough. So that was, you know what that says about you? That says that you are like a diamond in the rough. You really are. But let's look at this other stuff. Look at this ring. I picked this one out myself. Look, it it looks like a bulbous mistake. It's like a, a hideous accident, but it's actually a ring. See this part? And it's elastic. Can you believe that? It's elastic. It's disgusting. And then there's this one was actually a gift to me see but then I found out later it's it's an inferior diamond I mean it is a diamond of course because I wouldn't have anything else but ugh, it, the clarity is is garbage I mean it's worth maybe a million at most I mean it's junk and then we have this one here and you see it has this massive pink diamond right there but it's not as big as Huntington's gift his little posthumous gift to me <laughs> so it's it's kind of gross because it's little and I don't like small diamonds because they're nasty um, it's like a training diamond almost and see this one is full of little diamonds it's it's really disgusting too like I know. <laughs> it's like something the lady with the cow would have and be like really proud of it. Huntington gave me this one. Now, this one is cool. This blue one here. I kind of like it, but it doesn't twinkle. It, it doesn't sparkle and twinkle. So to me, it's substandard. You know, I appreciated it, but it was one of those gifts that you just throw in a drawer. And here's this one. It's almost like a mirror. See that one? It's like a mirror. Yeah, that one, I am... Um, oh, it is a diamond. It is a diamond, but it's too reflective, and it makes everyone look ugly. So, I don't like that one. And then this one is quaint. It's 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 lovely, I guess, in its own way, but... You know, it's, it's just too small. I mean, why would anyone want to wear that? And finally, we have this monstrosity here. This belonged to Huntington's mother. Um, I found it in the jewelry box along with the diamond that I um, liberated for myself. This belonged to his mother, and it's really gaudy. I don't like the color at all. Yeah, but that she would want me to have it because I made Huntington so happy in his last remaining days and 
I mean, what mother wouldn't want her child to be happy? So the way I see it, you know, it was, it was meant to be mine. So, but if there's any investigation, you guys never saw that. Just saying. Um, no, honey, we said Tuesday. Yeah, my name is Charity. He's already forgotten my name. Oh, sweetie. Here, would you like me to write that down for you? Do you have an assistant? You don't have an assistant? I think you need an assistant, don't you? You know what? I have a lot of experience uh, being an assistant. I have a lot of experience. I mean, that's what I meant by that. Um, I can take notes for you. I could follow you around. I could um, manage your money for you. I'm very good at that. Yeah, I don't even ask for any payment unless you feel like paying me. Maybe, maybe we could work out a deal. You know, I, you know, because the mattress king is gone so much, and I need something to fill my empty days anyway. So, we're gonna get together on Tuesday, and we're gonna discuss that. Okay, how do you feel about your fortune telling experience? Do you feel good about it? Do you feel like maybe it's worthy of another tip? Another, no, you see, you gave me, I mean, no, yeah, you, well, you might have given me a tip. Maybe you can give me another tip. Do you don't remember giving me a tip? Well, maybe you should give me another one. Oh, you don't have your wallet? Actually, I have your wallet right here. <laughs> yeah, it was a little thick. I've thinned it out for you so it'll fit in your pocket better. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very generous of you. That's wonderful. Okay, well, we're going to get together on Tuesday. Let me get your phone number. Maybe I could get started on some organization for you. I could go ahead and start um, working on some things to make your life a little better. You know, like, um, you know what would be even better than that? Give me your phone number and bank account information, maybe some credit card numbers. We can go ahead and start streamlining some things for you. Well, I'm all about efficiency. You know, I think I think efficiency is one of the joys of life and nothing makes me happier than befriending a lovely elderly gentleman like you and making their life better. Okay, well, it was wonderful to see you. I'm going to I'm going to get that number. Brad's going to get that from you. And any credit card, bank account information you want to give him, we'll be happy to take that as well. It was a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Well, I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Tuesday. We'll call you, okay? We'll call you and set that up. Oh, your house. Okay, well, we can come to your house. Right, maybe you can give us a tour and give us the combination to your safe. Well, we're going to need that if we're going to be helping you out. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Feel free to uh, enjoy the kissing booth and the silent auction. Um, and then there's a huge vat by the front door where you can drop off your extra money on your way out. Yeah, saves the trouble of having to carry it around. Oh, we do what we can to help. So thank you again so much, and I look forward to getting to know you better.